All right, so this is what I got done so far. Got the rails up for the actual gate. I just use one and five eighths chain link top bars, or I guess actually would be the bottom bars, similar to this here. Eight foot sections. And I cut them down a little bit just to fit the fence. <clears throat> so I have them secured to my four by fours with just some two by four and some lags. This is gonna be attached to the gate. This is just sitting up here. I wanted to see how that would slide. So there's a joint here underneath these clamps. It's not the most beautiful joint, but it seems to roll over it okay for now. It might be changed up. We'll see once I actually get the gate built. This one's a little bit cleaner. <clears throat> I have nothing keeping this actual bar from moving besides these clamps so they're not 100% secure this one seems to be okay but I might eventually drill a hole here and put a screw in just to keep it from sliding back and forth over time same with the joints and this side I'm building the gate tomorrow so we'll see how everything gets assembled after. Here's the hardware I'm using. It's another one and five eighths inch chain link bar there. I got these off of Amazon. There's some rollers and they secure with some U-bolts. This isn't all the way tightened yet. One thing you wanna make sure to do is to make sure you have the length of your gate. I guess, you know, this this being 16 feet, you wanna make sure that these are, these four by fours are perfectly square. If not, you'll have to adjust your, uh, your brackets here. So this one had to come down a little bit while well, this one's flesh or flush. The whole bottom I have flush and then the top I had to adjust a little bit just to keep the wheels from coming off over the length. That's what I have for this side of the gate. For the far side, I'm going to use this to roll across the driveway. All right, so here's an update on the gate. All that's left is just to put the pickets on and some hardware. That's how these wheels are attached to two by fours. Just drilled a hole through and use those U-bolts. Uh, it's a little bit crooked. I think I tightened these bottom ones down a little too much, um, but it rolls fine. So we'll keep it as it is for now. If it needs to be adjusted later on, I will. Just to give you an idea how smooth it is.
This is just what I have as a stop on the back for now. Just this two by four sticking out. But I'll probably adjust that a little bit. Sagging, well, not sagging, but it's swaying a little bit now. But I think once I put all the pickets on, it'll keep this nice and tight. Then I'll have a latch over here. I also have a stop here for the closed position. So yeah, so far so good. So before I put the pickets on, I want to show you this uh, front wheel. It came with some U-bolts also, like the wheels, or like the rollers. But I went to the hardware store and got these square bolts. I'm not really sure what they're called, but they're not so much round or more square. And uh, notched out two spots to keep this wheel from moving. And then just uh, tighten it all the way down. It seems to work pretty good. All right, so here's the finished gate. I got the hardware attached. Just a cheap latch I bought and handle. Slides very easy, even with it being a pretty heavy gate. Here's the back. You can see it's not 100% square, but these uh, these rollers seem to keep on the tracks pretty well. A little bit of a gap, but you can always close it up. And these sections in between the rollers, if you wanted, I might do that eventually. Down here, I added two extra two by fours on the top and bottom to catch it as it closes and kind of guide it in. Alright, let me know if you have any questions about anything. I'll link the, the bottom wheels and then these two rollers. I'll link those in the description if you're interested. Good luck.